So with COVID-19, um, there's really nothing to do. You can do some things. And obviously we went out to dinner last night, but um, like I said, that was second, maybe third time that we've gone out to eat since March, <laughs> which is a really long time. And um, tonight I'm making hamburgers, but um, Andrew and I have a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a, a it's not an argument. It's a, a difference of opinions. And, and my opinion is that anything more than three steps is cooking. She thinks that's ridiculous. I'm opening a prepackaged thing of hamburgers, which is step one. I'm then going to put them on the grill for step two. Maybe that's not cooking. Well, hello, Andrea. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, this is, this, this is, um, Ladies and gentlemen, Andrea. Cooking hamburgers, like when they're raw, that's cooking. But you would like heat up a, a TV dinner in the microwave and be like, I cooked, I cooked for you. And I'm like, not that we eat TV dinners, but you get my point. Like he'll heat up something in the microwave and call it cooking. And I'm like, that's not cooking. That, now, so you need to t be honest with them that yes, if you're going to make hamburgers, that is called cooking. What you usually do is not. Like, he just brought me a glass of water into the living room, and I'm like, thanks for cooking. Because wow. normally you would call that cooking, pouring water into a cup. For the record, I have never, ever said that pouring water into a cup is cooking. My work is done here. This is The Griddler by Cuisinart. It's really simple to use. Like even I can do it, so you can do it. What you're gonna do is plug it into the wall, easy peasy. Then you're gonna come down here and for hamburgers, you're gonna wanna put it on sear. So you see how it has sear there and then boom. Now what we're gonna wait for is this light to turn green and that means we're good to go. With your burger sizzling on the grill, you got five minutes. Wait, that's right, just five minutes because it's cooking the top and the bottom. For someone like me that doesn't cook ever, cooking in half the time is even better than cooking in double the time. During this time of quarantine, how do we make sure we're living life to the fullest? And the answer is not really easy. I think it's up to each individual person to know what they need to do, both mentally and physically, to make sure that the the, the do-nothingness of every single day of, can we go out, can we not go out? Do we wear a mask, do we not wear a mask? What's safe and what's not safe when there are so many different, like, like recommendations coming from so many different directions. And at this point, I mean, it's been since March and we've reached the point now where it, it's kind of up to each individual person. Now you want to be safe and you want to make sure that you're not putting other people in dangerous situations, but at the same time, being holed up in your house or in your office or in your bedroom is, is going to have an enormous effect on everybody's mental health in the long run. So as I've mentioned before, pick up a new hobby, 
is if you're one of these people who's working from home and there's just not enough work to fill up every hour of every day, pick up cooking. Something super easy. You could do a little bit higher class cooking than what I'm knocking out right here, but there's always more knowledge to be had. And in the end, knowledge is power. Yeah.